Welcome to this video on searching the Medline database. To access Medline, go to the library website www.qeb.ac.uk forward slash lib and click databases A to Z. Click M, then on the Medline All link. This is the full version of Medline with coverage back to 1946. A link to Medline last five years is also available. Log in with your QEB number and password if prompted and you are taken to the Ovid website, which gives QEB users access to Medline. Planning your search. Ovid Medline defaults to advanced search. Don't type all your search terms into the search box at once. Instead, break your search up into its component subjects or concepts and search for these one at a time. For example, if you want to find articles about the regression of glioma, first do a search for glioma, then for regression, and combine your separate searches. Let's try that now. Subject heading searches. First, type glioma into the search box. Map term to subject heading is ticked by default under the search box. Leave this ticked so that Medline will suggest medical subject headings or mesh terms that may be relevant to your search. Click search and on the next screen Medline suggests medical subject headings that might be useful. It may suggest one subject heading or several. If you're not sure whether or not a subject heading is right for your search, click the blue eye icon beside it and a scope note will open, summarizing what the heading covers. Click previous page to go back. If you're happy that a subject heading is relevant to your search, click on it. This takes you to a screen where you can view your chosen subject heading in relation to other similar subject headings that may also be useful. Scroll down the screen until you find your subject heading highlighted in blue. If there are additional subject headings indented underneath it, these are more specific related subjects that you can include in your search by ticking them or exclude by leaving them unticked. Want to include all indented subjects related to your chosen heading? Then click the explode box, which automatically selects all the headings and saves you having to do lots of additional clicking. Once you have made your selection, scroll up and click continue. And if you are taken to a subheading screen, tick include all subheadings to find articles about all aspects of your subject. Then click continue again. You will be brought back to the main search page where you will see that your first search appears in your search history. Keyword searches. To make your search more rigorous and to increase your chances of finding all relevant articles on your subject, it can be useful to search for synonyms or alternative terms for each of your concepts. For example, some articles might refer to gliomas as glial cell tumours, so glial cell tumours is a synonym that you can add to your search. Type glial cell tumours into the search box and click search. Medline again suggests subject headings but none match glial cell tumours, so in this case, none of Medline's suggestions are useful. If this happens, you should do a keyword search. This means that Medline will search the title, abstract and other fields of articles for the specific word or phrase you have typed. Medline presents you with a search as keyword option, but if you tick this, Medline will only search for tumours, plural, not singular or apostrophe S, and only for the UK English O-U-R spelling, not the US English O-R spelling. It is better to do a keyword search by clicking search to go back to the main search page and unticking the map term to subject heading box. Now you can retype glial cell tumours, but you can type some extra characters to address the issues mentioned previously. To ensure that Medline looks for glial cell tumours as a phrase rather than as three separate words, put double quotation marks around it. To ensure Medline searches for tumour, singular, but also tumours, plural, and apostrophe S, Delete the S and replace it with an asterisk. In Medline, the asterisk is the truncation symbol, which finds different word endings. Finally, replace the U with a question mark, which is the extra character symbol in Medline and can be used to find UK and US English spelling simultaneously. Click search and Medline searches titles, abstracts and other fields for articles mentioning variations on the phrase glial cell tumours. Your second search is added to your search history. Search and repeat. Repeat this process for terms relating to any other concepts relevant to your search. For example, after reticking map turn to subject heading, type in regression and click search. In this case, Medline suggests one subject heading that might be relevant to your search, but on closer consideration, it is clear that it is not useful because while the heading is called regression, 
it refers to psychological regression, not physiological. So, since Medline's suggestion is not helpful, we need to do a keyword search. Click search to go back to the main search page and untick map turn to subject heading to do a keyword search. Type in regression again, but this time leave off the ION ending and replace it with the asterisk truncation symbol. This means Medline will search for variations of regression, like regress, regresses, regressed, regressing, regressive, etc. Click search. This keyword search is added to your search history. Repeat for any synonyms for your next concept. For example, some articles might refer to the eradication rather than regression of tumours, so type eradication and click search. In this case, Medline suggests a long list of potentially relevant subject headings. However, the only useful synonym is the top suggestion, disease eradication. Click on this and scroll down until you find disease eradication highlighted in blue. There is one more subject heading, mass drug administration indented underneath it. This subject heading isn't relevant to our search, so just make sure disease eradication is ticked, then scroll up and click continue. Again, tick include all subheadings and continue one final time. This subject heading search is added to your search history. Combining searches. Now to combine the separate searches you've done so far. First, tick your two glioma searches. Once you tick searches in your search history, the AND and OR buttons become active. To combine searches for similar subjects, click OR. A new line is added to your search history, showing your combined and deduplicated set of glioma results. You can see that searches are starting to vanish from the top of the search history, because by default only the four most recent searches are displayed. To view all search lines, click Expand. Next, tick your two regression searches and, as before, because they are similar, click OR. Another new line is added, showing combined deduplicated regression slash eradication results. Now, to see which results are about both glioma and regression, tick your two OR searches and click the AND button. AND is used to combine searches for different subjects. Medline shows you the number of results about both of your subjects. Limiting results. Since the number of results is still quite large, use limits to try to filter out less relevant articles. To do this, scroll down and click Limits under the search box. Here you can tick that you only want articles in the English language and about humans, and you can specify a publication year range, for example, 2010 to the current date. Click Search, and the limits you have selected will be applied to the last search you did. You will see that the number of results is reduced. To filter your search results further, click Additional Limits. This screen lists all the limits you can possibly apply to your Medline search, including tick boxes for male and female, and an age groups limit that you can use to limit results to those about children only, for example. In addition, you can use the publication types limit to exclude any result that isn't, for example, a review or systematic review. Hold down the control key on your keyboard to select more than one limit simultaneously. When you've made your selection, click Limit a Search, and Medline applies your chosen limits to your most recent search. In this case, the number of results is substantially reduced. Viewing results. Scroll down to view your final set of results, where you can read article titles and abstracts for most, though not all, results, and click Q Connect to check for the availability of article full text. You can tick results as you scroll down through them, and print or email our details to yourself or your supervisor, or export results to Microsoft Word or the reference management tool of your choice. Saving references. Finally, save your search and rerun it later by clicking Save All. Log into your personal Ovid database account if you have set one up, or click Create Account to start one from scratch by filling in the short registration form and clicking Create. Once your account is created, give your search a name and in the comment box type the name of the database you have used and, for clarity, the date of your search. Click Save and back on the main search page a yellow message will confirm that your search has been saved successfully. This means that you can clear your search history and log out of Medline and recover your search later by reopening Medline and clicking View Saved. Log into your personal account if prompted, tick your search and click Run. Medline reruns each line of your saved search and displays your results. I hope this video helps you to plan and carry out your own Medline searches.